Hey guys, today we're gonna look at two different gecko species that look very similar to each other. The leopard gecko and the African fat tail gecko. First, we'll go over some of the similarities between the two and then we'll talk about how these guys are different. Now, both of these geckos have a very similar body shape as you can see here. So you see they both have very bumpy scales and also they both have feet with no uh, adhesive toe pads like the arboreal geckos do. So yeah, they're both terrestrial geckos. They don't uh, climb very much, they don't climb on branches and stuff, and they don't need those sticky toe pads. Now another cool thing about these guys, they both have really nice fat tails uh, when they're adults and uh, healthy ones have really, really fat ones. So in this little African fat tail, you can see he's not full grown yet. So he's got a smaller tail, but it's still nice and plump as you can see. So one of the cool things about these guys is that they're both long living uh, gecko species. Uh, they both have a lifespan of about 15 to 20 years. So it's a pet that you'll have for a long time. As far as their diet goes, these guys are both insectivores with a main diet of crickets and mealworms. So we feed them the same thing. Both also require humid hides in their tanks uh, with nice moist bedding, like we use sphagnum moss here at the store. So that helps them out whenever it's time to shed. And since they're both nocturnal species, they like to hide in those humid hides during the daytime. So they have a place to kind of burrow down like they would in the wild. So these guys have very similar temperatures. They're both uh, kept at a hotter uh, temperature. The leopard geckos, they stay um, at a maximum of about 95 degrees for their hot spot, and the fat tails, they're about 90 degrees. So as far as the tank size requirement, these guys have the same exact uh, size that they need. Uh, for one adult, we suggest a minimum size of 10 gallons. And um, sometimes if you've got like more than one adult or something, you can go up to a 20 long. So even though these guys have a lot in common, there are a few major differences. So even though these guys basically look the same as babies, as I'll show you in these pictures right here, they do look very different as adults as far as color and pattern goes. So as far as color and pattern goes, this is what the African fat tail looks like. They have those broad, um, dark brown patches with the uh, lighter brown right there. Sometimes they'll get a uh, white stripe running down their back, but that's basically it as far as these guys go. That doesn't include morphs, however. Now with the leopard geckos, you get the brighter colors, you get the yellows, and then in some morphs you get oranges and whites and all that cool stuff. And then with theirs, they don't have as much striping as the African fat tails do. They have more of the spots. Some of the morphs have reduced spotting, but this is, we're talking about the normal colors for these guys. Now the biggest difference between these guys is their habitat. Now the leopard geckos have a dry desert habitat, while these guys have a more humid tropical habitat. For the leopard geckos, we use bedding like Desert Blend, with, which is a nice walnut shell bedding. And then for the African fat tails, we use a more tropical bedding that retains moisture like jungle mix mixed with repti bark. So with the African fat tails, we do spray their bedding every day. With these guys, we do not because they're, uh, they have the dry walnut shell desert bedding. So keep these guys more tropical. Now, other than that, the only other difference between these guys is where they come from. The leopard geckos, they come from Pakistan and the African fat tails, they come from West Africa. So that's it as far as similarities and differences go between these two. Uh, they both make great pets, no matter which one you pick.